What is up YouTube? So I wanted to come on here and share my Minoxidil beard growth journey with you guys. Um, I watched those videos before I started so they was really encouraging to me. So I started my journey and here is uh, the results so far um, with doing Minoxidil uh, twice daily um, for about a year. And so I will say this before I get into the video is that the growth will really depend on I think one is going to be your genes. Some people have better genes for like growing hair. Others gonna be a little bit more struggle like myself because we don't. I don't really have genes for growing hair. Like my parent, my dad doesn't have like a lot of facial hair. I've always had this, but the sides never really nothing. So I've been trying to grow it for the longest time. And I gonna say like I must say after a year of doing it, you know I'm pretty happy with the results. It's not you know full full like a lot of people's, but it has come a long way. I'm gonna flip the camera. We'll look at the mirror so we can get a little bit more up close. All right, this isn't quite working out like I wanted it to, but you guys can see this side. Hopefully, see that side. And I'm gonna flip the camera back. We'll talk some more. All right, guys. So for my monoxide beard, beard growth journey, my routine looks a little bit like this. So one, I got the foamy monoxide, right? Foamy monoxide. Excuse me. Take about a capful into your hand. Rub it in on the sides. Once again, twice daily. Now I will say this: when I wake up, when I wake up in the morning, first thing I do is pretty much a hot washcloth to the face. That's how I wash my face. I don't use a bunch of like cleaners and stuff. Anyway, so that's how I wash my face pretty much normally. It's just hot water to the face, right? After I do that, I'm applying my minoxidil. I leave it on all day. Um, and then at night, wash my face again and put it on again. Now, once I put the minoxidil on initially, I do put on some beard oil. Is this the best brand? I don't know. You know, you, I heard people getting better results if you like, if you're African American. Uh, Jamaican uh, castor oil has done great for a lot of people, but this is what I use. Probably might have to switch it up, but so far so good, right? So it looks like this, like I said, wash my face, put on the minoxidil, once it's all rubbed in, beard oil, twice daily, and then about once a week so far what I've been doing is derma rolling. If you've never seen one of these, so we got the derma roller, pretty much we're just going up and down. This helps, you know, pretty much activate like, you know, dead hair follicles or sleeping hair follicles or whatever. Um, I can't quite say if I, if that's helped. Obviously there's growth. Is it due to me uh, derma rolling? I don't know. Is it completely due to the minoxidil? I do not know. So, so, so far, some of the tips I would give to you guys with your journey with grow, trying to grow a beard out. One, as you can see, my joint is lined up. Now, here's a key for you. Initially, do not cut it. Do not cut it. Do not get them to edge it. Just let it grow. It's gonna look bad. It's gonna look rough for a little bit. But, so one of the problems I found out was, as I was growing it out, it was doing well, then I started getting it lined up. And I realized every time I went to my barber, the line was getting lower. So I had to give it a break so it can reach back up. Because I was seeing that these hairs was growing, and every time I got a line up, it was always lower. And I was like, the beard line wants to be up here, but they kept cutting it down here. So the best thing to do, guys, if you're new in this process, you know, however long you are in the process, you know, when you're going to go to the barbershop, avoid getting it cut initially. Um, once it really starts being more defined, then you can get them to like edge it. But just make sure that when you tell them to edge it, that you do not want the line any lower. You pretty much just want it neater. Obviously, that might require the cut a little bit. But like I said, mine kept getting lower and lower. It was crispy, but it was low. And so I had to like stop getting it cut so it can grow out and, you know, fill back in. Now, um, there are some other things you can do to promote your beard growth. So one, like I said, the oil, derma rolling, uh... And obviously the minoxidil, I always like comb mine out. I brush it, whatever. And another helpful thing that you guys can use if you're a little bit more developing on the process and you still have spots you're not happy with is, uh, let me see where it's. And my other tip to you guys, um, if you're more developing on the process but you still have some areas you're not really happy with, is use a, uh, use a beard pen. So you can get one of these like off of Amazon and I'll drop the link below. And basically it has this little tip it's almost like ladies eyeliner and you can use this to fill in those spots um, in your beard you know just up and down and then you brush it in to blend it you can also hit your eyebrows if you want to make them a little bit fuller and thicker but those are my main tips guys for when it comes to monoxidil journey I will say the biggest thing out of all of it to sum the video up is be consistent so do it every single day some of the things I've seen help other guys that I haven't done or been consistent on one, so I joined the beard club, but I just feel like it's an expensive subscription for no reason. Um, honestly, like, 
you have these vitamins. I'm gonna give you guys an example. So like these vitamins, it comes with a derma roller. Now, if you look at the branded derma rollers, these things, I see one brand trying to sell these for like $99. Guys, this is a 0 0.05, no, yeah, a 0 0.5 uh, mm derma roller, right? If you go on eBay or Amazon right now, you should be able to get this derma roller for about five, 10 bucks. The branded ones, they're gonna try to sell it to you as like a beard roller. They're gonna sell it to you for a hundred bucks. Bro, all it is is a derma roller, and the size they sell on those websites is point, uh, 0.5 mm. Look for that, you'll be good to go. You'll save a bunch of money. So like I said, though, the beard club memberships, they'll sell you like these little capsules, beard oil, uh, a comb. They might have a derma roller included. And it might cost you like 50, 60 bucks a month. And honestly, that's kind of pointless because the pills, they're mainly just uh, a chemical, uh, biotin. So if you just go to the store, get you some biotin like this, right? Because you can see on biotin, it says hair, skin, nail, health. So right, the DIY, um, the DIY method for beard growth, skip all these beard memberships, get you a five, $10 derma roller, get you the multi-pack of, uh, of uh, Minoxidil from Walmart. This one's from Target. It's like 35 bucks for three months or like 50 for six. Um, get you a beer pen to fill in those. This is once you have hair. For you guys who are just starting off, beer pen will not help you because it's just gonna look dumb. Um, you know, brush and comb. Have the oil. You don't want dry hairs coming in, so keep the you know keep the beer oiled. And just consistency is the main thing, guys. Stay with it. Stick with it. I promise you, some growth will happen if you stick with it. You just gotta be consistent every single day. Now, granted, guys, like I said, I'm looking forward to more more growth. But showed you guys my picture from when I first started. It's come a long way. I'm super happy with it. And the journey's just going to continue. Anyway, guys, hope this video helps at least one person grow that beard out, guys. Because the ladies apparently love the beards. And, uh, yeah, pull some shorties. I'm just kidding. Peace out, y'all.